MMA Weekly here with Kat Zingano out in Denver on the site of uh, McNichols, what used to be McNichols Arena, now is a parking lot <laughs> for where we had UFC 1 several, many, many years ago, 20 years ago. Now, Kat, um, got to hit you up right away on the injury. It's, how's the knee doing? It's doing really good. Um, my physical therapy is going super well. Everything's right on track. Um, about a month ago, I had some stem cell injections. They uh, they took fat out of my body and they spun it and they shot it back into my knees and I feel really, really good. Um, I'm going next week to get some more PRP injections and this is all supposed to help rebuild the cartilage and regenerate tissue to help my knees. So I'm really looking forward to, to the comeback. I think my knees are going to be stronger than they've been in years. Now that stem cell procedure was for a secondary injury, correct? Well, yeah, I, um, I feel like I was compensating a little bit with my left knee, taking care of my right knee as I was recovering from my injury. And, you know, just the wear and tear of the limping and, you know, walking around. I'm, I'm not a big fan of crutches, so I guess I, I uh, kind of got myself in a little bit of trouble. But, you know, nothing that couldn't be repaired. So, you know, I think they're both going to come back much healthier and stronger. And um, I can't wait to use them, honestly. So we're still looking at early 2014 for the comeback? Uh-huh, we sure are. Now, when you come back, you've got pro you've got one of two girls probably that you're going to be fighting, and that'll be either Ronda Rousey or Misha Tate. Mm -hmm. Misha took your spot on the Ultimate Fighter due to the injury, but h how would you assess how the two have been coaching so far this season from what you've seen? Um, I would say, you know, Ronda's kind of looking like the bad guy, and I don't know if that's the editing or, you know, they're catching her and her emotional state but I think because she's so emotional it just really shows that she cares and that this matters to her and I actually kind of commend her for that. Um, on the other hand I think that Misha is kind of capitalizing on the fact that Rondo's looking a little bit rough around the edges and, and coming across as a, I guess a better a better face forward. Um, as far as the two go, I think that they're going to put on a good fight. I think that being in each other's space and face for so long has, uh, has probably built up that kind of animosity that's going to make for a really good fight. So I, uh, I don't know, I really look forward to it. I think the season's been going well and really proud of all the athletes and competitors and how they've been doing. Well, seeing as how you're likely to fight the winner, who would you prefer to fight out of the two? You fought Misha once before, but... I, fight, I fought Misha before and I beat her. I, I know what she has. I felt what she can bring and I'm ready to move on to what's next. You know, I hope Ronda wins. Um, she's a great champion and I don't really want to go out there and fight that champion and, and if it is Misha so be it you know I really want to beat her up again too so it's a overall it's a win-win for me no matter who I get to fight all right well Kat thanks for talking to us at MMA Weekly and uh, good luck on the recuperation and we look forward to seeing you back in the octagon all right thank you